Now, uh, by the time we hit September the 29th, what was your state of mind as to what your concerns were about Mr. About Mr. Paul? I was extremely concerned about Mr. Paxton's conduct. My office was about five feet away from Attorney General Ken Paxton's office. And what I saw over the course of those three, four, five months, the summer of 2020, I was very concerned that Mr. Paxton was breaking the law. You said you had become concerned. You expressed some of those concerns. What was the focus and what was giving rise to it for you personally in September 29th and 30th of 2020? I witnessed Attorney General Ken Paxton do brazen things on behalf of Nate Paul. He abused the entire office of the Attorney General of Texas to benefit Nate Paul. And it got worse and worse and worse as the year progressed. Had there ever been any settlement discussions prior to that? No. Had there ever been any indication while the lawsuit was pending and the election was in the future, during that two years, was there ever any indication or suggestion that the law, that, about a possible settlement? Never. All right. Do you know of any circumstances that changed and led to their reaching out to you to discuss the settlement? Ken Paxson was reelected. Was he reelected without knowing anything, without the public being told any of the real facts and so in the discovery with depositions or so? I would say it's even worse than that. I think Ken Paxton lied to the public for two years about our case. So not only did we not have discovery, he did the opposite and lied to the public about our allegations. Uh, let me ask you if you can. Uh, then what I want to do is to go to um, exhibit 460. I want to move to introduce 469 and 470, but I first want to ask a couple of questions about it. Um, with the original settlement that, the, that everybody's heard a good deal about, was there a proposal that you actually personally, individually held up from reaching a settlement? I did not go to the mediation. I right, never Hold appeared. on. We're going to try to do this in a question answer way. So was there a suggestion of a mediation sometime in February? Yes. All right. And who all went to that mediation? My other three co-plaintiffs went, Mark Penley, David Maxwell, and Ryan Vassar. And out of that mediation, did the three of them reach a settlement? They did. And what was this amount that they settled for? $3.3 million. Why did you not go to the mediation? Because I did not want to settle the case. Why did you not want to settle the case? Because I wanted to be vindicated for what happened to me and my colleagues, and I did not want to settle the case. What happened to us should never, ever happen to any other public servant Objection. in Texas. No. What were your conditions before you would ever agree to consider settling? I had three. What were they? Ken Paxton apologize for calling us rogue employees and admit that we did what we thought was right was the first one. That's number one. The second one was the third court of appeals had ruled in our favor that the whistleblower law applies and I wanted him to agree not to move to dismiss that. In other words, you had a winning opinion on intermediate court level and you wanted an agreement that they wouldn't challenge that agreement, that, that ruling? I did because I wanted future Texas public servants to know that the whistleblower law applies in this state. All right. And what was your third demand? That Attorney General Ken Paxson re remove a disparaging statement where he called us rogue employees that was on the OAG website.